Hello friends and welcome to my channel IB All Designing Developer. So like you all know that previously we have started a new tutorial series of C++ in which we have covered up many different videos and I hope you enjoy that. So today in this video I will be telling you that what are user input strings in C++ and how you use user input strings, what are the elements which we have to use when we are working with user input strings because in this video you will be learning really different things about a string like if you want to use the strings with user and input so how you can do that it's really amazing video and i hope you'll be enjoying this video and learning different things from this video from a start so if you learn different things and if you enjoy this video so remember to hit a like and if you're new on this channel want to see more videos like that so remember to subscribe and after subscribing a notification bell so you can get the notifications of all my coming up videos which i'll be uploading on this channel and also remember to uh, just share it in your friends and family members so they can learn about these amazing things and they can also just learn that how we can start with C++. So now what we are waiting for, let's move to computer screen and let's get started with this amazing video from start. So now here we are on the computer screen and like I've told you to start that in this video I'll be telling you that what are user input strings in C++ and how you can use user input string as well if you want to use in C++. So now let's get started. If we talk about user input string, so basically it is possible to use extraction operator. This, these are the extraction operator on sign to store a string entered by a user. Means if you want to use extraction operator on a sign to store a string entered by a user. So you can just see here how you can use it. Like you can create a first string which is named as first name or you can give any of the name to your string but I have created first string which is named as first name. Then in Cout you can write this extraction operator and after this operator you can write the thing which you have to print in this first name like I want to print type your first name which will be my first text which I have to get in my output. So I'll be writing this Cout then I'll be writing extraction operator and in that I'll be creating type your first name and after that I'll be creating a sign attribute then this extraction operator again first name and after writing this first name my uh, string will be printed and you will be getting the output which you are getting in your string then when you will be writing the C out and again extraction operator so you'll be getting your name is and then when you will be writing the name so here you have to write this extraction operator again and after that you have to give the string name which you have defined two times at the top so remember the string name should be same as you're writing at the top so that every string should be defined and you should not get any error. Like in the first name if you have written John so you will be getting John and then you will be getting your full name which is John Wilson or any name you have written you will be getting the output of. Then however sign considers a space, white space, tabs etc as a terminating character which means that it can only store a single word even if you type many words. It is saying is that like if sin considers a space white space tabs etc and a terminant character so it means that it can only store a single word means this sign can only store a single word and if you even type many words it will only print it printing you a single word because it can only store a single word not more than a single word so if we see the example of sign like how you can use a sign to store a single word so you can create a a string and you can give any name to your string like I've written here full name because already I have used the first string as first name so I'll be using another string here with the name of full name then I'll be creating a C out value then extraction operator and after that I'll be creating double quotes here because when you're writing a string so you have to use double quotes before and after the string and after writing these double quotes in these double quotes you have to write a content in your string which will be type your full name which I have written then sign again extraction operator then you have to write the name of your string which is full name like we have written at the top then again see out then again extraction operator and then you have to create these double quotes and then in these double quotes you have to write your string name which is your name is and uh, then just you have to write extraction operator and the string name as full name which we have defined two times at the top then you will be getting your full name is John Doe or any name you have written and your name is John like this from the example above you will expect the program to print John Doe but it's only print John means when you will be uh, just printing like when you will ex expect to print this program John Doe so you will be only getting the output as John because when you are printing anything in this sign so it only consider one word and one word of this full name is John so that is why the print means the output you will be getting will be John that's why when working with strings we often use the get line 
this get line function to read a line of a text it takes sign as the first parameter and the string variable as second means when we are working with a string we often use this get line function to read a line of a text and because this sign takes the first parameter and the string variable as second so that's why we have to use this get line function to read a line of a text which we are writing first then if we see the example of this sign which we are using with first parameter and the variable as second so the output you will be getting as a string full name see out then you will be getting your full name then get line which you are using here which we have written the example of then see out your name is and you will be getting the full name if i just show you the example here so i'll be just printing these means i'll be just copying these all things here which i have just written in the example so you can just do like this and after doing that you have to move on to the google chrome and after moving here i'll be just selecting repellent here which is our text editor which we were using in our previous videos and i'll be now just logging out with my previous account and i'll be logging it with my new one like my previous old account dummy account which i have already created here and then i'll be using my same repel which i was just using in my previous video so i'll be just logging it with my dummy account here and after just double pressing it you have to just wait for a while because it will be redirecting you to the dashboard and there is my dashboard i'll be just selecting this repel now just select your repel and you can change the name of the repel so i'll be writing the name as user input in c++ like this and press enter to get the title here of the apple you can just see title has been changed and now our apple is working so we'll be getting all the things in the apple here so now i'll be what i'm going to do is i'll be removing all the things and i'll be just writing here include io stream which is the starting code here which we use in c++ then write here using namespace std and then after that i'll be writing init main like this and in this init main i'll be just moving down and pasting all the things which i have already copied and after that i'll be returning the value as zero so that we can get the output working if i run these all things here so now you will be getting a different output like if i run so you can just see now we are getting here like type your first name so i'll be writing my first name as inshal then i'll be pressing enter so now it is just giving me a simple output which is saying is your name is inshal like this now what i'm going to do is next i'll be just commenting out these things because now we have understand that when we are printing this first string here and when you're writing the name here of your yours which you have written so you are getting the output as inshal which is the same thing as you're writing because when you write your first name as inshal so obviously you will be getting your output as well which is your name is inshal like this so it means our thing is working here till here it is working so what i'm going to do is now i'll be just moving on to my word document again and i'll be copying the code which i have written here so that we can just see when we are writing our full name so what the output we are getting is here so i'll be now just copying these all things here then i'll be just moving down and i'll be pasting all these things but remember now we are using a sign here not count because sign only contains one value so it will be only giving me the word word one word of my name which, when i'll be writing my full name like if i run so you can just see it is saying me type your full name which is in shalbek like this i will be writing my full name but now the output you will be getting your name is now you will be getting in shal only if i print you can just see now we are only getting my first name which is in shal but i have written my full name in shalbek so i should be getting the output as in shalbek but why i'm not getting because i'm using this sign and this sign only uh, considers one word or first name which you are writing and now in the place of this sign if i write count you will be now getting your full name printed so if i run here but now in the place of this i will be writing like this now i will be running again and now if i just write in shalbek here your full name is like this now we are getting so now uh, i'll be now doing is like i'll be just printing like this and i'll be removing these things here which i have written here so now you will be getting the output so i'll be just removing this full name here save it here and then run and after doing that you can just see we are getting your type your full name then your name is like this we are getting all the things working and you can just see what is the difference between full name and the sign attribute which you are using here like if i write my full name here so you will be only getting one name printed your name is inshallah like this so i hope you understand that how we can work with these all amazing things using c++ in a start and if you want to use user inputs in c++ so how you can use it so if you have enjoyed this amazing video of user input string in c++ remember to hit a like to this video and if you are new on this channel want to see more videos like that so remember to subscribe and after subscribing 
hit notification bell as well so you can get the notifications of all my coming up videos which i'll be uploading on this channel so just i'll be meeting you in next tutorial video using c plus plus from start so far today good bye